Right, uh, welcome. We are in the Airbus A20N, landing at Paro with uh, Bhutan Airlines. Um, we're currently making a circle to land approach, so we're coming around on the Arnav approach for runway 33. We're going to stop the approach at 11,000 or 10,500-ish, and then we're going to circle for runway 15. Um, bit of evening light, as is reality in Bhutan at the moment. I did have it set to the morning for the flight, but I thought evening was actually quite a bit nicer. So now we're about to start quite a big right left bank turn, which has a maximum speed of 145 knots, so we're just going to bring it down relatively close to that but you can see we're going to be ending up in this valley here and the Paro airport is somewhere over there um, so we're going to descend down and then once we're actually on that final approach point here we're going to descend to 10,500 um, and that's going to be our minimum altitude um, before the visual segment at the end uh, the visual segment we're going to overfly the airport make a right turn towards a mountain make a left turn up a valley and then when that gets a bit sketchy looking we make a big right turn back into the main valley to line up with the runway and do the big S turn or final. Runway 15 is probably the harder of the two approaches um, as there's no straight in option you have to circle for it um, whereas runway 33 if I was to just follow this approach I would actually be at 9800 by PR708 and then from that point it's a visual snaking along the valley um, on quite a nice path actually until final so let's just hope that the plane does this turn here PR7110 and then we're going to descend down to let's say 10,000 actually just making it lower and lower actually let's do 10,500 like before we're going to do 1.5 degree glide path because I don't need to make a steep descent in. that's all for later steep descending uh, we've got the plane all set up actually to warm the cabin there we go, they've been warned now. Please prepare for landing. Let's hope this will work out. Okay. It's a bit of snow, so there is the airport there. Flight. So I can see that the airport is VFR, there are no horrific clouds in the way of the airport there. Um, so that's all good for an approach. We've got another traffic coming in, so that's uh, Bhutan 11 coming from Kathmandu. We've come from Lhasa Gonga in Tibet, which is, uh, I don't think, a real world route. Um, Okay, so we've got the airport in sight, so this is now pretty much my minimums. From this point, I'm either going to make an approach or I'm going to go around and go land somewhere else. Um, but I can see the airport, and the weather isn't mad. We have got an 11 knot direct headwind, so that'll be no problem to deal with. I'm now going to configure the plane more or less for landing now. So we've got flaps free coming in now. Spoilers armed and the speed brake set to medium. The gear isn't down yet, but that's not quite necessary. So once we're over the threshold, once we're over the top of the airport, we'll make a right turn towards this mountain here. And we're going to try and maintain 10,500. The left turn is going to be up this valley here, which you can't quite see, but we're going to snake around the back of the mountain here um, so that we are following. So now we're making our decision now. Then off comes the autopilot. We'll do a little bit of a right jivvy, keep the vertical speed at zero because I don't want to actually go any higher. We're basically going to keep turning right, point it up this valley. Now we're going to turn it left Minimum. up this one, landing or approaching. Full, put the gear down. So that's flaps full gear down. <coughs> Two thousand five hundred. Actually, fly towards this gorge here on the right here. So it's a valley that you can see ahead. We're going to put the GPWS into non-terrain warning mode. 
because we're going to have terrain that's non-negotiable here a little bit of turbulence turn off the flight directors we don't need that water brakes armed, speed brakes armed we're ready for the approach so I'm just going to make this one Minimum. as much as I can because this is basically what saves me my um, Until this basically gets a bit too problematic, 2000. At this point, we're going to do 30 degrees bank to the right. Try and lose some altitude. Minimum. There we go, we're now roughly aligned. 9,500 is a good place to be at this point. We're going to keep our descent rate quite high for now. We've got roughly four miles to the airport. The airport's at 7,300, so that means we need to be about 1,200 above, so 8,500 would be a good place to be. So we're a little bit too high, so we're just going to keep the descent rate high for now. Although actually looking on the visuals, this is pretty good. The valley floor is the same altitude as the airport. Uh, we've got another couple of miles to go, so if we aim for that monastery straight ahead, um, this will probably be okay, I think it's actually a junk. It's a, a fortress actually, Bhutan, Bhutan's famous for its fortresses. So fully set up for landing, landing lights are on, gear is down, water brake medium, cabins worn, the signs are on. Power traffic, Bhutan, 10 Papa turning final, runway 15. Just going to keep that rate of descent at around One about 1200. a little bit more. So there's the runway now on the right. So this is the point where we do the crazy S turn. So there's 30 degrees right bank. Keep that descent rate down. Five hundred. Thirty degrees left bank now too. We can roll it out nicely. Thirty, twenty, ten, five. Okay. Touchdown. Versus green, 100 knots decelerating, 80 knots, and we're going to use a taxiway here. Green there. So I would like Microsoft to remove this fence here, it's not actually in the reality. In real life, actually, it's not there. Um, on top of that, it does also cause massive problems with the wingtips. So landing lights off, strobe lights off, breaking it down to about 15 knots, and we're going to vacate to the right. keep a little bit of power on because we're at 7,000 feet so we need a bit of uh, bit of welly to keep the plane moving. These trees as well those could be doing with a bit of gardening. So in real life I think it's just a small fence that is there but in Microsoft there's a massive barbed wire fence along with a, a bunch of other things. So basically we need to taxi <coughs> really far left to avoid hitting that fence. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we'll turn off the speed brakes and flaps up. Power traffic, be turned and Papa vacated. Go a bit close there. But we can't really afford to go any further to the left because we're going to start clipping those traffic lights. And then right at the end, we've got the, the major problem, which you will see.
So here's our major problem. On the right we've got this huge lamp post which is right on the edge of the taxiway and on the left we've got a car park which also won't really let us pass. That's just about enough space. You can see that there. And I've hit that there so that's a problem. I mean luckily the left one wasn't a collision object but the right one this gigantic post is a collision object so if you hit that you end up over there which is not ideal Lhasa Gonga in Tibet to Bhutan Paro Airport which was great fun it's a nice flight as well you come over the Himalayas and the tallest mountains in the world the 27,000 isn't quite enough to get over that engines off and try and get the stairs power catering baggage I don't think there are any stairs that's fine everyone just jump out of the plane right such fun